Hey beauties, welcome back to the channel. I just keep the dancing Avon lady and today I have an exciting video for you where I am showing you all of our new beauty tools. So let's do this. we are talking about brand new beauty tools it is about time oh my gosh you don't even understand how excited I am about this because we desperately well I desperately need a new brush set let me show you my collection so I do have some really nice ones that I won from studio 1886 so thank you studio 1886 for that I have used some of them but they're also just so pretty that I don't want to dirty them but look at my existing one. Oh my goodness. It is so sad looking. So you know what? It was about time to replace some of them that have been with me for a very long time. They also jiggle. They just, they need to retire. Let's say that. So when Avon announced that they're coming out with an entire new brush set, I couldn't resist. I had to buy the entire collection. If you've been on this channel for a while, welcome back by the way, you would have already known that how much I love this particular brush, which is the Kabuki brush. I have been ranting and raving about this stunning brush for months now. And I just, I love it. So whenever we come up with a new brush, I love to try it out, test it. Mind you, I am, I'm not a makeup noob. I've been doing my makeup for a very, very long time, but I'm not formally educated. I just know what I like to do, what works on me, and I'm always open to learning. When I try out brushes, a lot of the times, I have no idea whether or not it is for that intended purpose. So therefore, what they're doing this time around, it's helping me out a lot just gotta say that so this is our kabuki brush that like i say i've been ranting and raving for a while they did sell out for a bit of time i think they're coming back or they're already back in now make sure you do jump over to our e-store to check it out but i love this brush i love the cap i love how it stores i just i love it so i have for you today i'm going to show you four new brushes plus the tweezer. We're going to start with the tweezer because I mean, when I'm doing my makeup, I start off, you know, like just seeing if there's any straight brows that I need to kind of like eradicate from my face. And so this is a new tweezer set that I just bought from Avon. I am obsessed with finding the, my like best tweezer. I used my old one. I loved it. It somehow disappeared off of the face of this planet. It was the polka dot one that I probably bought, gosh, like eight years ago or so loved it loved the angle loved how it clamped loved the tension and after losing it i haven't been able to find another one to replace it and i have bought every single avon tweezer out there plus some other brands so i haven't found my favorite one yet i bought this one the ergonomic one it's okay but it's just a bit too big and i don't really love how the angle it is from my hand it just feels a little awkward and then i bought this one this one i like the tweeze like the the tip here but the problem is that it's a little bit too tense and it's small so i feel like it tenses my fingers plus other ones oh my gosh that would be a whole video on its own going through my tweezer collection so let's open up this beauty here so this is the brand new one from avon it's called the fmg daily beauty tool tweezer it the claim is i'll get every fine hair on these ankle tweezers it is stainless steel and it is nine centimeters long so let's open this up what i'm looking for is how well it's going to feel comfortably on my hands or in my hands not on my hands how comfortable it'll feel in my hands as well as the angle and how well it grabs tiny hairs so on first look i gotta say this is a sexy tweezer I love the shape. I love the curvature of it. I love the fact that it's not too big, but let's open up this part here to see what I think. Okay. So it's not a ginormous opening, which is fine, which is actually a good thing because then you're not, ooh. Actually, it feels pretty good so far. Ah, it pinches well. It feels pretty good so far, right? And this part here isn't too ginormous either, so I'm not like doing weird angles. So let's try it. I don't have a lot of straight hair, so I still need to tweeze out. If you look at my forehead here, I have this ginormous, oh, 
mountain of a pimple that happened yesterday and then it exploded in the shower yesterday. So we're going to leave that side of my face alone a little bit today. Going to see my dermatologist again tomorrow, but let's check this out. All right, so I do have a couple of little stray hairs here. Let's see. Oh my gosh, wow. I better, whoa. Even with, what? Okay. Okay. Oh, oh, oh. Yes. Yes. Okay, let's try that right between. I need to go up here because I am so blind. Okay. Okay, not bad, not bad at all. Get that one there. Wow. Awesome. Okay, that's great. How about the whoosh area? Mm-hmm. So what I like about it, it is going in and getting the fine hairs, which is awesome. And it's at an angle where it's not like pinching my face, which is really, really really awesome i'm really up close and personal with you right now i'm sorry i'll give you your back of your personal space okay so so far i am liking this and guys this is at an incredible price point it is regular six dollars and avon always has a, things like this going on sale all right so first impression really like it it feels comfortable on I like the length of the slender part here do like that because then i can hold it back here and get really get in there. This is awesome. So tool number one, I really, really, really like it. It's also very lightweight, so it's not heavy. I mean, if you could talk about balance, it's a little bit heavier at the bottom end, but I mean, we are going to be holding like this or like this, so I am happy with this. I do like how that it is opening a substantial amount, but not so much that it's going to be difficult and take a lot of work to clamp, but also not so little that it's hard to get in the little hair. So, so far, so good. Happy with that. Now we're moving on into the brushes. So I have here four brushes. And if you saw my unboxing of this, when I unboxed my campaign three order, I want to say, that's when you first saw this. I did show this one already. So this is the eyeshadow blending brush. These are all dual-ended brushes, and so this one is specifically for eyeshadow, which is great. So I'm going to guess that this side is more for the application of it. This is more the blending side of it or for the crease part of it. These guys are so soft. They are so incredibly soft, and they're vegan. So they are vegan brushes if you are looking for a vegan brush. Now, this one, they say that it works with the Cashmere Eyeshadow Palette, but I'm going to use it on the FMG Glimmer Palettes because I haven't opened up my Cashmere Palettes. I really need to because they are studying shades. I am going to use them right away today to kind of show you how they work and how, I, how they apply on my face. So let's roll up the sleeves. And let's get to this. But I want to show you all the brushes first. Now, so the next one here is the blush and contour brush. What I've learned is that the more dense the bristles, the more product is going to apply, right? So, ooh, oh my God, they feel so soft, guys. Like seriously, they feel so soft. And they look so pro. Gosh, look at that. All of these I will be storing flat like this so that it doesn't put pressure on one end. I mean, it's great because now I don't, I can have like half the amount of tools in my makeup station. Look at this, it is so gorgeous. Ugh, wow. This is the blush and contour. So I'm gonna assume this side is for the contouring and this side is for the blush. Oh yeah. So it doesn't feel as dense as the Kabuki brush, but it does feel just as soft. I anticipate that Ginevra is going to go gaga over this. The next one that I have is this complexion blending brush. And this one is supposed to work well with the Match Filter Serum Tint Foundation as well as the Match Corrector. So that means that this is probably for your foundation and your concealer. I like the shape of this one. This one's funny. It looks like the Marilyn Monroe building um, towards Mississauga, I think it is. Doesn't it? It looks like that tower. But look at these. And all of them have the cheat sheet here. So it'll tell you exactly what it's used for, which is great. So this I would be for the foundation. 
I'm assuming. And then this side will be for, I guess, concealer. It looks a little bit big for concealer. I don't usually use a brush for my concealer, but I want to try it today. All right, final one that I have here is the Precision Eye Brush. I love eyeshadow brushes. I have, I think, five to seven different eyeshadow brushes. And one of the parts that I use all the time is the angled eye brush, right? Oh, and to clean these, you wipe it with a damp cloth. Um, I was told before by, by a makeup artist to use baby shampoo because it is nice and gentle, but just make sure that you do let it dry completely. So this would be, I guess, for smoking out the corners. And then this side is what I use a lot. Sometimes I like to use eyeshadow as eyeliner because then I can play with a lot of different colors and so this one they will also work well with the glimmer gel um, eyeshadow or the liner so i do have both of those as well but i'm going just to be using it for the liner i think maybe not maybe 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 we'll try everything today everything today why not let's get doing my makeup let's start off with the foundation so i'm going to use this magic tint i did get the serum tint but i don't want to put all of that into one video because i think it will make the video super duper long and it can get confusing because i'll be doing a first impressions on all different ones so this is the magic tint oil free foundation tint i really like this one because i like the fact that it's oil free but also i like the fact that it's just a super light kiss of color and what i'm going to do is i'm going to put it on my face i'm going to try to avoid that area today guys because it's really angry and i don't want to put any product on it so my look today will have an angry red spot but it's because it's it's really angry so i don't want to touch it okay so i have this on my face and on my neck and the shade that i'm using for this is light medium i realize it is a little bit too dark for me right now because it is the winter months but that's okay we're going to make it work then what we do is we're going to take the complexion blending brush and then i'm going to blend the product in now i can be doing this completely wrong just fyi total disclosure because I'm not a makeup artist, I just am someone who loves to play with makeup. So if I'm doing it wrong, don't do as I do. <laughs> you know what, what I, honestly, what I think when it comes to brushes and every and makeup in general, do what you love and do what works for you. There's always going to be rules. There's always going to be, this is always suggest, but if, hey, if it doesn't resonate with you, it doesn't resonate with you. If you don't like how it turns out on your face, then do the way that you makes you feel good. I mean, that's the whole point of makeup anyways, right? Is to accentuate who you are through art. I think that's why I really love makeup. And at the end of the day, if you don't like what you did, just wash it off, start over. Okay, it worked the product really well into my skin, actually. Like, really well. So it's not like it's sitting on top, which is nice. Oh, I already put on my moisturizer. Yeah. And, I mean, for day-to-day, -day, I either don't even wear foundation, and I just put a little bit of concealer. I like how it worked it into my skin. All right. Cool beans. Continuing on, what we're going to do is we're going to do the corrector. So this is the Magix. Now it has been rebranded as Match. I'm, I'm going to keep using this Magix one just because I don't want to waste product. But you can use this as the concealer. They're saying that this can be used for the correcting brighten and perfecter. To me, it feels like a little bit of a, a ginormous brush for it. But let's see where it goes. Okay, so I am going to put the product on with my finger first. This is how I normally do it anyways. So I'm going to do a little bit on the under eye here. And then right at the corner. I'm gonna leave this one alone today. A little bit under my nose where I experience some redness and where I have a little bit of demarcation because of some pimples. All right, and then we take this and we're supposed to be able to blend it. Oh, hey. Okay, not too big at all. I guess my bias has been wrong all these years. 
Wow. It blends it really well, actually. Let's just do a little bit more. One thing I do like, though, is that I can really get into those itsy bitty crevices. Blend this out. Ooh, okay, okay, okay. So far, so good. First impression, good. It feels really, really, really soft. And it's like doing a really good job blending everything in. Better than my fingers. Okay, next we are going to do a powder. So I have two powders. I have the VDL Lumilea Correcting Powder, and then I also have the Cashmere Complexion Powder. This is what I reach for almost all the time to set my makeup. I don't know how to use this. I need to do some research, but it is really pretty. It is so pretty. I don't really know what to do with it. I guess I could tap some out. Okay, look how pretty that is. And then I can use the finishing brush. I really like the fluffier side for something like this. So I want to mix this. You know, I'll do half my face. Wait, see the redness? It's so soft. Doesn't feel prickly at all. Now a little bit goes a long way with this. It smells really nice. I don't know if I noticed that much of a difference with it, but it smells, I, at least I, my face smells pretty now. But I am going to use this side for this. And so this is the Cashmere Complexion FM G Compact Powder Foundation. This is in the shade N120. I reach for this all the time, like all the time. I really love this one. It is so pretty. I only want a little bit. And ever so lightly, I'm just dusting on some just to kind of set my foundation. I don't want a lot because I don't want to look cakey. A little bit goes a long way with this. And I, like I've been using this for probably over a year. I really, really, really love this powder. I actually had a client who just, who she used to use the, um, the Mark one. And then she switched over to this one. She just refilled her order and bought three more of these at one time because she loves it so much. But you know what? I really like how it is setting my makeup. Oh my gosh. It really, really is making a difference with how the makeup is worked into my skin so it doesn't look like it's just sitting on top. Wow. I am impressed. I mean, obviously my skin still has texture, which is fine. I mean, I am, I am the age I am. <laughs> But you know how sometimes like makeup just kind of sits on your skin? This has really worked in really well. It's really nice. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay. So far, mommy's happy. I'm a happy mama. I'll do a little bit of bronzer at the end. I don't do so much contouring, to be honest with you. But I did like this for the foundation. I'm going to try this for the, br uh, for the blush and the bronzer. So next, we're going to do my eyes. I've already curled my lashes. So we're going to first start off with using the bronze butterfly. So they're saying to use this with the this one here. So I'm going to use it with this eyeshadow brush here. I'm gonna use this for my base and then I'll use this palette here to do some extra shading and things like that so I can try out the other brush as well. The one I'm using today, this is the FMG Longwear Gel Shadow and this one is in Bronze Butterfly. It's really, really pretty. It's like a neutral color and so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to apply it directly from the pot onto the brush and go from there. Now, if you guys are new here, make sure you do click the subscribe button because I do have new Avon related beauty videos every single week or not necessarily beauty, but they are videos about Avon products, trying Avon products, testing Avon products. And I also try to do a live stream every week. So now this one here, let's try. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Okay, super even application, which is exactly what we're looking for. This is going on so much more precise than what I just do with my fingers. I am converted <laughs> with this brush. Oh my gosh, I can't even, what? Okay, just a little bit under. Wow, it is so precise. Look at that. Whoa, that is so pretty. 
It's like a whole new world of makeup for me now, man. Yikes! What? Because, like, I mean, I typically just use my fingers, but I think I'm gonna have to start using this brush specifically for this eyeshadow. It's really nice. Wow. I mean, I know it's super neutral right now, guys, but I can't get over how even this looks because although I really love this eyeshadow when I apply it with my fingers, I love it so much more right now because it is such a great even application. You are doing wonders. What? Wow. Huh. Okay. I'm a happy mama. Okay, so that's that. Now we're gonna move on into the other eyeshadow brush here. We're gonna try to do some creasing. I never do creasing. Well, very rarely do creasing. You know what, okay, so what I wanna do is I'm gonna take this one here, I wanna do a little bit of highlighting here. So this is the FMG Glimmer Eyeshadow Quad in Idol. And what I am going to do is I'm just gonna do a little bit up at the top here to highlight. And I mean, a little bit goes a long way. And just a little smidge right on my tear duct here. I am so in love with how soft these brushes are. Like, they don't poke at all. They're not irritating whatsoever. What? Okay, super duper soft. Okay, then what we're going to do is we're going to take, you know what? Typically, I do take the other brush. But I really want to try this. We're going to take this one and we're going to add a little sweep of color. We're going to do this one. We're gonna add a little sweep of this here, and we're going to use this side, the flatter side. So this is more of a, when you wanna do a full wash, I'm just going to attempt to do it like this and see what happens. So I'm going to just tap a tap a tap a And then I'm just gonna do a little bit right on the center of the eyelid here. And they say, always hold your brush up a little higher. Okay, now what I'm gonna do now is I'm going to take this side again and i'm just going to go into the darker shade here and go to the corner of my eyes yeah, that's too big but yeah you know, i'm gonna go into the crease just to give it a little bit more dimension this brush is so soft omg oh wow oh wow it is so comfortable and in my ass. Ooh! Okay. I can live with that. I'm happy with that. It feels like little butterfly kisses on my face. Okay, wow. It blended so easily. And it's not tugging my skin, so it's not like leaving any weird creasing. What? Wow! Now what we're going to do is we're going to use this flat-sided brush. And we're going to go in with the electric jellyfish which is one of my favorite shades of this line so this is a eyeshadow but i have used this as a liner several several times it is a, a beautiful pop of color and so we're going to test this out today with this brush this is the angled eyeliner brush i use this brush type of brush all the time and so all i do is i just load up my brush like so. And the, what I love about this particular eye, um, eye product is that it is really, really buildable. Start here and I'm just gonna add a nice pop of color. Wow. This side of the brush, it is a little bit stiffer, so it's not quite as soft as all the other brushes. But to me, that's to be expected because of the type of brush this is. And then the other thing I like to do with this particular one is just on the inner part of my tear duct here, just to add a little bit of color. Okay, uh, that, and then, wow, I'm happy with this. Because a lot of the times I do feel that with my other brushes, also because of they're getting so old, I do have to do two to three layers. And I think that this time I did, a, I was able to get enough product on it. I just needed to do one strong layer, if you will. I guess would be for lack of better words. So ready. Okay. Let's finish it off. This is the Cashmere 24 Hour Cream Liner. Love this particular product as well. I'm just going to go along my waterline for this. And then we need to, of course, go in to do the Love at First Lash Mascara, which is my favorite mascara. 
my go-to makeup, guys, if I don't have a lot of time or if I really don't feel like doing anything that day, but I need to be on Zoom, is always curl lashes, mascara, and something on my lips. That is my bare ass minimum. My bam. Okay, and then to finish off the look, we're doing two more things. We're going to use do some blush and we're you're using the Colors of Love um, Glow Beads. This is in Queen of Hearts. reach for this all the time. Typically, I do use my Kabuki brush, but be before today, we are going to use this one here, and then I'm also going to do a little bit of bronzing. So first, I'm going to do this one. This is again in Queen of Hearts. This is just to add that little flush of color to my cheeks. Okay. To be 100% honest, I prefer the Kabuki brush, I think, for this. Yeah. For me, I prefer the Kabuki brush for the glow beads, only because of the size of that brush. It's a smidge bigger. And so I feel that the way that the product is laying it's going to be a bit different. You see how the, the, the difference of the fluffiness? So I do like how this one just fits my cheek, but that's also because of my cheek size, right? I mean, obviously, if you have a smaller cheek, you can also do a little bit more highlighting just like this by holding your brush a little bit differently, right? Almost like a fan brush. But this, I like the, the Queen of Hearts like a blush because I think it just adds that nice bit of glow and flush to my cheeks without being overpowering especially if I'm having color in my eyes or a brighter lip it just adds that little bit of like oh I was just outside in some fresh air and that type of a feel so now I am going to use the other side just to do a little bit of bronzing again I don't do a lot of bronzing to begin with I'm more of a blush girl than a bronzer girl but that's okay we're going to use this. This is called Low Tide. This was when we had Mark. And I'm just going to go a little bit underneath here. Jawline. I mean, don't get me wrong. It does add a difference to the contouring of my face. But for me, I just don't... Sometimes I just don't have a lot of time to get it done. And so I tend not to do it. Okay. Alright. Blend everything together. And then let's do my lips real quick. And today we're going to be using this one here, which is the stunning flat two-tone lipstick in purple with beige. I've talked about this one a lot as well. Lately, I have been reaching more for the regular lipstick, the FMG one, just because I've been able to play with the shades. But this one, guys, is just such an easy use. It's just such an easy application, and the shade is already for you. So it's just it. And it's already paired up. And previous to this, I did put the Dew Kiss lip balm on my lips while, because I condition my lips while I'm doing my makeup. All right, and we are set. There it is, guys. My look is done. I think it turned out really nice, actually. Okay. Let's do a quick recap. Overall, love the brushes. I love the tweezer. The tweezer, I'm going to be using it for the next while. It does feel really good. I'm wondering if it's going to loosen up a little bit. I would like it just a smidge looser, but that could happen with time too. Um, it doesn't feel as clunky as my other one, so I'm really happy with that. This brush though, I freaking love. This was the foundation brush and then the concealer brush. I might be converted to not using just my fingers anymore because this really helped with getting the, the foundation to really be worked into my skin so much more than usual. Normally, I just use my fingers, um, but this, gosh, I love it. It is super duper, duper, duper soft. Now, in regards to this brush here, personally, I like the Kabuki brush a little bit more for when I'm using the glow beads because I like how much it lays on my face. I feel like it's a little bit less work that I have to do. This side of the brush, though, it was really, really nice for the powder. It did a really great job of doing that, so I did really also enjoy this brush. Um, now in regards to the final, where's the other brush? Oh, here it is. The other final two brushes, the two eyeshadow brushes, this blending brush, oh my gosh, wow. I have to say it is far superior than this one. This one felt a little bit stiff, so maybe I was using this brush for the wrong reason. This blended so well. Like, I can't 
I, I can't even. This other side though, I wasn't giving it too much of a fair use because of the fact that I was using the gel eyeshadow as opposed to a regular powder eyeshadow. So I'm gonna have to try this one again. I'm sure I will reach for these ones all the time. But out of the eyeshadow brushes, this is probably my favorite. Because I can use, I can see myself using this for the gel as a main. I mean, I will never go back to using my fingers for just the gel again as a shadow anymore because how even it applied the eyeshadow, guys. And then this side, it's nice and dense. And so therefore, it laid on the eyeshadow from the gel shadow so well. I can see myself using this even if I wanted to do a soft smoky eye or soft liner. If but if I use an eyeshadow, I can even wet the brush a little bit just by spritzing a smidge. And then again, just using that to create a slightly more defined line. So overall, guys, I am freaking super duper happy with the entire new brush line. I am in love. And so hopefully you'll go down to the RE Star link down in the description box below. Check out the what's available and see whether or not you love the brushes too. I can't wait to keep playing with different makeup looks. It is such a great job not toot my own horn or anything but it did such a good job like it made such a nice difference with the products they say all the time that you know the brush can make a huge difference and the brush obviously can make a huge difference i am so grateful to avon for bringing in a brand new brush collection these look stunning they're sexy they're sleek i love how the duo ended they're going to lay really well my makeup station take up less space so all great things. So if you're interested, guys, in checking out our full collection, make sure you do go to the link in the description box below and learn about all of our new beauty tools collections. And while you're there, make sure you check out that Join Avon button as well. Have you ever considered about becoming a beauty boss where you can play with makeup, sell across Canada from coast to coast online through your e-store? If you want make sure you do check out my Facebook page, Passions to Paycheck with Jessica Yick. Book a free 15-minute consultation to see whether or not Avon is the right fit for you, learning all of your options and choices with this incredible company that I've been with for now over 15 years. If you haven't yet and you are a beauty boss or you're looking to learn more about entrepreneurial lifestyle, work from home lifestyle, make sure you do also jump over to my brand new YouTube channel, Passions to Paycheck with Jessica Yick. I will be posting specifically Avon training videos on there, but also so in general, productivity videos or, you know, different apps and things that I have used over the last 15 years to really help elevate our family's life and um, bring my business to the next level. I love you guys and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.